Do you ever feel as though you are dreaming about your twin flame night after night? I find that twin flames seem to use their sleeping state, their dream time, as a space of communication and connection. Many of you in the comments have even been sharing your own twin flame dream stories, the kinds of twin flame dreams you've been experiencing. So let me know in a comment below this video, have you ever dreamt of your twin flame? And if so, do you feel the dream had some higher meaning? Do you feel like your twin flame was using this dream to communicate some kind of message? Before we get into some of the most common twin flame dream signs and meetings, let me introduce myself. My name is Infinity and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course, the law of attraction. The first thing we need to talk about when it comes to dreaming about your twin flame is that there are two very distinct different types of twin flame dreams we can have and it's very important that we understand the differences. One form of twin flame dream is entirely driven by the ego. Within these dreams, our mind especially the egoic part of our mind, is essentially playing out our own fears, worries, and anxieties within the connection. These dreams, although they can be about our twin flame and can feel very vivid, are not spiritual signs or messages or communication from our twin flame. They are a product of our ego. On the other hand, there are dreams that are absolutely clear messages, clear communication coming directly from our twin flame. As we sleep, the conscious mind is completely dormant. And at this time, because the conscious mind is out of the way, the subconscious is wide open and impressionable. It is the subconscious mind that connects us to every other mind on the planet and that most closely connects us to our twin flame. We are always exchanging energetic communication with our twin flame through every single moment of the day. The only reason you may feel disconnected from your twin flame. You may feel as though you aren't receiving messages from them during the day, but at night they seem to be actively, intensely communicating with you through dreams. It's because of this, because during the day, your conscious mind is distracting you. Sometimes it is even quite literally blocking you. You are busy going about your day, going to work, doing whatever it is you do, and the conscious mind is guarding you from being so open to receiving all these energetic signs and messages from your twin flame, which in a way can be a positive thing because if we were wide open to receiving every single message and sign and communication and consciously interpreting it all the time, we would be overwhelmed. However, at night, as your conscious mind is sleeping, you are able to clearly communicate with your twin flame because you are opening up your subconscious mind. We are actually capable of tapping into this higher communication with our twin flame at any point in the day through meditation. I have created a seven chakra twin flame clearing meditation. 
This is a subliminal affirmations track, which means it contains affirmations the conscious mind cannot hear. These affirmations are embedded within other meditation sounds and frequencies, and because they aren't comprehensible to the conscious mind, they are able to bypass it. So by bypassing the conscious mind, subliminals make deep and lasting impressions on the subconscious, which again, it is this subconscious mind which connects us directly to our twin flame. This subliminal is also designed to clear out any blockages, specifically energetic blockages stored within the seven chakras that may be preventing you from communicating with your twin flame clearly and in a positive way, either through dreams, through 5D communication at night, or even during the day while you are conscious. Listening to this subliminal consistently will allow you to dissolve these negative beliefs and subconscious thought patterns that are preventing you from fully energetically connecting with your twin flame and ultimately being magnetized into a harmonious physical union with them. You can try out this subliminal completely free for seven days when you create a trial account on my website, Sound and Soulful. The link to this meditation track will be in the pinned comment as well as the description box of this video. So how can we distinguish between the ego, between an ego-based dream and a dream that is truly a form of communication, a message from our twin flame? And it is very important to know the difference because any of you listening to this who have had twin flame dreams of both types know that at times we can have these very intense, anxious, fear-based dreams about our twin flame. For example, you may be dreaming about your twin flame romantically connecting with a third party with someone else. And you may be wondering, is this a message that they are connecting to a third party, that there is someone else in the picture, or is this my ego talking? And I'm going to show you an easy way to know the difference. Anytime you awaken from a dream feeling negative emotion in the form of fear or anxiety that makes you want to try to control the situation in some way, or you find yourself even in a physical state of anxiety because fear and anxiety states can actually affect our physical body. So if you feel as though your body is very tense, your mind is spinning, most likely the dream you just had was driven by the ego and in fact entirely created by the ego. This isn't some form of communication from your twin flame because on a higher level, through the fifth dimension, all you and your twin flame feel for one another is deep, unconditional love. The purest form of love on the planet is constantly radiating between the two of you and in fact, even connecting you through an invisible cord running from your heart to the heart of your twin flame. So if you are having these fear dreams, these anxiety dreams, know that this is your ego speaking. However, with that being said, although this isn't a message or some kind of premonition about your twin flame, it does still serve a purpose. These dreams can show you ways in which you are being triggered within your connection, ways in which specifically the ego is being triggered. You should know that having these kinds of dreams about your twin flame is very normal and natural because through the twin flame connection, we experience what is known as the ego death, commonly associated with a spiritual awakening, such as the awakening triggered by physically meeting our twin flame. Through this awakening and this resulting ego death, the ego will kick and scream and try to fight back not only during the day in your waking hours, but especially while you sleep. 
So know that these dreams are normal, first of all, and second, find a way to heal the wound, the ego wound that is being triggered, that is being revealed to you through this dream. Know that dreams can be a very powerful time of healing for our mind. So sometimes the reason these dreams are happening isn't because you are doing something wrong or there is something wrong with you, but simply because there is some negative emotion or a wound within you that needs to be healed. And in order to be healed, it must come to the surface through this dream experience. It must be triggered in order to be acknowledged and acknowledged in order to be healed. So begin to ask yourself questions about this dream. Why did I feel triggered by this dream? What was in this dream? What kind of fear-based scenario did my ego create? And what can this tell me about something within myself that needs to be healed? Now, For all other forms of dreams, these soul-based dreams, dreams that truly can be messages from our twin flame and aren't just driven by the ego, I want to get into the most common forms of twin flame dreams and what they mean. The first twin flame dream you may have is receiving signs or symbols in connection with your twin flame. This could be any dream with your twin flame that seems to contain some very strange event, object, something within the dream that very clearly stands out to you as a symbol. So this could be something like seeing a certain animal in the dream or being in a certain kind of location like the forest or a beach. And the reason I say it's important that it stands out to you is because What you need to understand about twin flame dream symbols is the reason you are receiving these symbols is because your higher self and your twin flame's higher self know that you will recognize this specific symbol and that it will stand out to you. And in fact, that is the very reason they are sending you this particular symbol through this dream. When it comes to interpreting these symbols, It's very important that you allow your intuition to be your guide. As I always say on this channel, your intuition is your compass. Again, these dream symbols exist for your intuition to interpret them. So if you feel guided to Google search what this might mean, and then choose whichever interpretation resonates most with you, this may be one way of interpreting a twin flame symbol or sign. Again, just listen to where your heart is pulling you. You may even intuitively get a hit about this symbol where you awaken and you dreamt about some strange symbol and you just instantaneously have an intuitive feeling about what it means. Listen to these intuitive feelings above all else when it comes to interpreting a twin flame dream symbol. Just like you can receive synchronicities in your day-to-day life, such as number sequences, know that you can also receive these same kinds of synchronicities through dreams. The second form of twin flame dream is being with your twin flame in the dream And during the dream, you don't remember many of the details, but it leaves you in the morning with a certain kind of very profound emotion. I call this emotional transference through dreams. Oftentimes, this emotion is actually an emotion being radiated energetically toward us from our twin flame. It is a form of emotional telepathy we are receiving through this dream. Some examples of emotions you could awaken with is you may wake up feeling a deep, insatiable longing for your twin flame. This could be your twin flame longing for you. You could wake up feeling very positive and love and happy because of whatever happened in this dream. This could be a way of your twin flame expressing their love to you through this dream. Alternatively, on the other side of this, you may wake up feeling very sad, 
very lonely. This could actually be your twin flame trying to communicate with you that they have been thinking about you, but in a kind of shadowed way, in a sad way, meaning that they could be feeling lonely without you or even deeply missing you. I find that these specific forms of dreams tend to happen most during separation. A third form of twin flame dream and perhaps the most concrete message we can receive from a twin flame through a dream is actually having your twin flame deliver some piece of information to you in the dream. This could be your twin flame flat out telling you that they love you, that they miss you, announcing something to you that's been going on in their life. Pay attention to these concrete messages and again, it can be a little difficult to sort out because sometimes the ego can step in and make it appear as though within the dream, our twin flame is saying something negative to us that they would never say to us and that they don't actually mean that isn't really coming from them, but is constructed by the ego. So really use your intuition when it comes to determining whether this is coming from your ego or coming from your twin flame. Oftentimes, you can take these messages at face value, and again, not 100% of the time, the ego can always step in, but many times we can receive very clear and concrete messages from our twin flame through a dream about them giving us that message in the dream. The fourth form of twin flame dream signs are the most interesting to me. These are dreams in which you feel as though it is real life. It feels extremely vivid, extremely realistic. It feels as though you quite literally left your bed during the stream. And the reason is because in some sense, you actually did. Oftentimes, these dreams are us meeting our twin flame in the astral realm, meaning that our consciousness and our twin flame's consciousness have simultaneously left our bodies wherever we are, however far apart we are on the planet, and have met up in these higher realms in our dream state, and have had shared experiences. The amazing thing about these dreams is that if both parties are conscious of these dream meetings, if they are lucid about them in the morning, then they can actually confirm them with one another. However, the problem is oftentimes one party will be lucid of the dream meeting. They will remember it, whereas the other won't, or sometimes neither of you will really remember concrete details about it at all. And these are the times when you wake up feeling as though you spent the whole night talking to your twin flame or with them when you're miles and miles apart and it just felt real but you don't remember the details. This could be because you actually met your twin flame in the astral realm but you don't recall meeting them. You don't consciously remember it. And the fifth and final twin flame dream sign are twin flame dreams containing a future vision or premonition. I find that these dreams most often happen in vivid flashes within the dream. You may find yourself and your twin flame in some different city, maybe you're older, maybe you're getting married. What you are often sensing into through these dreams is you are actually energetically interpreting a vision of a future with your twin flame and i say a future not the future because what many people don't understand about visions and predictions and premonitions is they are only interpreting one energetic outcome and in fact the energetic outcome based on the current state of the energy so these premonitions could be telling you if things continue on this current track something you may experience in the future with your twin flame. And in fact, you may reflect on the past and even remember times in which you had these dreams of the future with your twin flame, these flashes of dreams that you thought were just your imagination, but later you discovered these were actually visions and premonitions that are now coming true in the present day. So let me know in the comments 
Have you ever experienced any of these forms of twin flame dream meetings or dream signs? In this community, love is catching like wildfire. I am so grateful for each and every one of you for being here, sharing your beautiful energy here with me on this channel. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do subscribe to this channel. Join our community of like-minded, conscious, creative beings here on YouTube. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll talk to you again in the next podcast.